up guys, welcome to another video, today I'm going to be reviewing Godzilla vs Kong. This film came out today and was directed by Adam Wingard and stars Millie Bobby Brown and Brian Tyree Henry. Now before we start, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the post notification bell so you can notify for a video, and let's just start. Let's start talking about the good. So the opening sequence for this film, I thought it was great. Um, it's basically all about King Kong, um, where he lives, and what it looks like, and it also deals with Gia, who is a young girl, and she is with King Kong, and their relationship is fantastic. Their relationship sort of drives this film because their relationship is key to what happens at the end of the film, and King Kong, just like many people have said, he is the heart and soul of this film. Um, he is the main character in this film, and it's fantastic. King Kong is awesome in this film. Um, Gia, who is played by, uh, Kaylee Hoddle, she is the little girl, she's fantastic. She uses sign language to communicate with, um, with King Kong, and it adds to a lot of emotional sequences within this film, because of course she doesn't want to see King Kong get hurt, and King Kong doesn't want to see her get hurt, so that does play a role in the third act of the film, so their relationship is fantastic. Um, the cinematography, which of course includes the shots, the camera angles, the lighting, phenomenal. Um, the film looks fantastic. It looks way better than Godzilla King of the Monsters. Um, Kong Skull Ivan looked good, um, but for me, I like the way this film looked better. Um, Godzilla, uh, Godzilla for me was just a little too dark, but this one has the perfect balance of uh, light and darkness, so the cinematography is fantastic. Um, the score by Junkie XL is fantastic. It fits the film perfectly. Kong's theme and Godzilla's theme fit their characters perfectly. Kong's theme, of course, has that jungle, um, jungle theme to um, his theme, and Godzilla has just this destruction, um, big monster-like theme for him and they work because King Kong in this film is sort of the gentle creature and Godzilla is kind of the villain in this film so those themes work for their characters perfectly um, the action sequences now this is Godzilla versus King Kong the action sequences must be good and they are phenomenal they're action-packed they're very entertaining now, what I was sort of afraid of was that even though there were going to be a lot of action sequences, which I already knew, I did not know how they were going to look and how they were going to um, play out in the film. But when I watched the film, the action sequences look phenomenal and they're placed in the film so that you're entertained, but it's not just... It's not just a whole bunch of action sequences back to back to back so that you get bored of it. Um, and there are no shaky cam. Well, there might be, there's one sequence with shaky cam, which it, it was like for five, 10 seconds. And there is a shot where they zoom into Godzilla and King Kong's face. And even though some people might think that that's cheesy, I thought it was awesome. Um, so the action sequences are phenomenal. And once the action starts, it doesn't let up and it keeps going. Now, there are some sequences where, of course, you have to go back to the human characters. But once the action sequences start, it's just action sequence after action sequence. And it's awesome. Um, the third act of the film. Now, the third act is the final battle between King Kong and Godzilla. It's fantastic. It looks fantastic. It takes place in Tokyo. The lights... The way it looks, everything about that third act is fantastic. And it's definitely one of the best third acts that I've ever seen in any monster film. Um, because it's just, it's just awesome. You have all the lights in Tokyo. You have the buildings that are all lit up. You have King Kong fighting Godzilla. King Kong is jumping off of buildings, swinging from buildings, punching Godzilla in the face. Godzilla is using his atomic breath, shooting it at King Kong. What more could you want from a final battle? Than what you get in this film. Um, I couldn't have asked for anything more. 
it delivered on everything that a monster film should deliver and the action sequences in the third act are just fantastic you will have a blast with the third act um that's all the good that i have now let's move on to the bad so most of the characters in this film are usual throwaway characters uh, i did not really care about any of the characters in this film except for gia which is the young girl she was very good in the film because you actually felt for her and you really liked um, the relationship between her and King Kong. But the other characters I did not really care about. Um, you have uh, Rebecca Hall, I believe her name is. I didn't care about her. Um, Kyle Chandler, I did not care about him. Um, Brian Tyree Henry is funny in the film at times. Um, so I guess it was nice to have him on screen. Millie Bobby Brown is a great actress. Um, I thought she was very good in this film. Um, and the other actors and actresses, I thought they were just regular actors and actresses in a um, monster film. Um, and the story. Now, the story for this film is very dumb. The story does not make any sense. There's no reason why Godzilla and Kong would fight. Um, it's just... They're, they they just fight. Godzilla and King Kong fight um, for no reason. Now, that could upset some people. And, I mean, if you want to really analyze the story for this film, you're not going to enjoy the film as much. But for me, I did not really care. But it is a thing that some people might not like. So I had to include it in there. So the story is very um very dumb it doesn't make a lot of sense and i mean just if you think about it godzilla vs king kong does not make any sense a giant ape fighting a lizard who shoots who has atomic breath and king kong who is a monkey with an axe this is a dumb film and it knows it's dumb and it uses this to its advantage to actually make it entertaining for the audience um, so the story might be dumb, but I didn't really care. Um, so that's about it. Godzilla vs. Kong is a very fun time. Um, I highly recommend it, especially if you can see it in an IMAX theater. It will be worth the watch, and it'll make a great experience for you. And I highly recommend it, and I'm going to give Godzilla vs. Kong a B+. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to post notifications, bell so you know if you're free video. I'm Peter. Thank you for watching.